Hey guys, what's up? It's your bitch and no, I'm not doing that. No, that was stupid. That was no. So I'm leaving to go to Michigan tomorrow. <sighs> it's gonna be really fun. I didn't really know how much I was actually gonna miss it. So I went like two and a half months without drinking any alcohol. And then this past week, I, I had just one drink every single night. So just like a glass of wine, a small hot sake. I had a little bit of whiskey one night, but it wasn't like a full drink. I think it really, really takes a toll on your mental health because today, all I've been wanting to do is listen to sad piano music and rock music and cry. And I don't really like to sit and cry. I don't really like to have emotions. I just think feeling emotion is just, it's not something I love to do. Even positive or negative, you know what I mean? Because I feel like the higher and more intense the emotion, then the opposite effect so the higher the highs the lower the lows that you get and i feel like that's how it is with emotions like when you're just so like whatever pumped up or happy there's always those moments that either like of all the lows that led up to the happiness or that'll come after the happiness does that make am i making any sense so I've just been listening to sad music and being depressed all day and thinking about all the things that I just want to escape and run away from. I think when I sit in LA for longer than a month and a half, it really just shrinks down my brain. And then it's like when I leave LA, I need like that refreshing, just upliftingness. I don't know. And it's not like anyone's doing anything crazy to me or anything like that. It's literally myself me and then it's like i go home i get recharged and i come back to la and it's like game on for the next month and then i have to leave again i don't know i just think there's some positive cool things going on in my life that i just am afraid of whenever i go out in public and meet new people friends whatever and then i like say too much or do too much i i don't know i just want to like hide and run run and hide hide and run i constantly am working on being good enough for myself and the best for myself because i realize that i'm not going to be good enough for anyone else and maybe that was making me sad today because i was just feeling like you know i just feel not good enough for anyone the only person that will ultimately be satisfied with what i have to offer and who i am is myself so that's why i just kind of not me using you guys as my therapist right now but that's why i think i just like become a hermit and i just want to sit in my apartment and not talk to anybody and leave. I also feel like when I'm traveling, time doesn't exist, which it actually doesn't. But I feel like when I'm traveling and I'm on a plane and you're just like in the in a metal tube in the air. Sometimes when I'm here all the time inside these walls, I just overthink social media. I overthink what I'm posting. I can't be creative. So when I like break outside these walls and just like go back to Michigan for a refresher, I just become so much more inspired and motivated. Cause right now it's just like, it's hard for me to go on Instagram. It's hard for me to post on TikTok. It's been hard for me to film this week. I have two really cool videos I'm working on for you guys. And it's just been really hard to stay like wanting to film. I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna hang out. And I'm gonna forget about all the things getting in my head, making me overthink. <sighs> After my shower, I immediately put on, this is the Kapari Ultra Restored Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. It smells like strawberries and vanilla. I love smelling really good. But I always mix the lotion with some sort of serum. So I used, this is the Vitamin C Brightening Serum, 10% from First Aid. So I mix these two because I want my body to be super smooth and silky. And even though I'm going to be in the cold, I still like want my skin to always feel soft and exfoliated and I like to smell good. I made up a little face mask. I did the Tula Self Care Sunday. It's like a brightening mask. It has probiotics. Vitamin C and so many other like good things, but I mixed it with the rice polish from Tatcha. This is the classic one. Basically, this has like a tiny, tiny grit to it. So when I go to take the mask off, it lightly exfoliates my skin because then I put my retinol on and I want it to soak into my skin. This is the Ultra Facial Advance Repair Barrier Cream by Kiehl's. I put this all over my 
So basically, I like to keep the skin on my entire body soft and protected. Since, you know, if you're exfoliating, you're waxing, you're shaving, plucking, or whatever, that skin is constantly being exfoliated. So you wanna make sure you're protecting the barrier of the skin or else it can become very sensitive over time. So nothing like a little skin carotene for your... So, sorry for the TMI. Okay, sorry for the interruption, but let's do a quick try on haul. Okay, if you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you might have noticed I've been changing up my style a little bit. Let's not waste any more time. This dress, this is so cute. It's basically like a see-through little beach dress. You could wear it over a bikini or you could just wear lingerie underneath or just underwear or Spanx. I think it's really pretty. It's by the brand Tularosa, extra small. It's got these little things at the end of the sleeves. I like something really tight, but it has like a little bit more of a thickness to it, so it'll keep you warm. Because right now, even the beaches here in LA are chilly, because it's winter time. This outfit, I just wore to a birthday party that Mariah Carey was at, and I was literally dancing in this outfit next to Mariah Carey while she sang her own song. Well, like, lip sync her own songs, like just dance on the dance floor. But look at these, look at these pants. These are so freaking cute. These are from MBD as well. I got them in a size extra, extra small. The original top is this top. So this is really cute, but I wore it actually with this top. So freaking cute. This was by, this was by the brand OW and I love black sequins. I feel like I can't really wear any other sequins cause I just look weird, but these look like, oh my God. I've been wearing tights a lot recently because I am always so cold. So with tights, we love a little skirt and leather also keeps me extra warm. So this skirt right here, this is by L'Academy. I got it in a size small, which was big on me. So I did get it fitted and it's perfect. It's so comfortable. The leather is so soft. And I just like to wear this with like an oversized crew neck tight heels loafers you could do sneakers leather blazer this is so i could wear it right now speaking of leather i love a leather jacket this is by l'academy as well i got an extra extra small so it fits tighter so i can wear it almost as just like a top again the quality unreal and leather keeps me so warm all winter my favorite color is green and look at the inside this has been said for the past 9,009,965,000 years, but blazers just make everything look better, upscale, cool vibe. Love a blazer. <laughs> Something about a white button down on a man, on a woman, gets me every time. So this, this also wasn't my size, it was a size small. I got it in the small because I wanted this cropped white shirt so bad. It has this thing in the back that keeps the shirt tight in the front. This is by L'Academy. If it's sold out, I'm gonna put other ones that are available on the Revolve website, but these are so good. I can wear these literally with anything, with sweater vests, under crew necks, on their own, with a tie. Like I literally love stuff like this. Also, I'm wearing this corset top from Super Down. I'm gonna get other colors of it because it's so flattering and like tight. I'm wearing it with sweatpants right now, so don't mind that. But we have this little knit, this little knit top, so cute. I feel like in the winter going into spring, sometimes you don't just wanna wear like your tank top or like, obviously I don't like to just wear a bra out. Then you can do this, so it's kind of like you're still showing some skin, you can wear your body chains, but it's like winter time, you know? I really always find myself missing tropical beaches and or summertime in the winter time. So I need some things to kind of give me that feel, but also not have it scream summer in the middle of winter. Last, but not least, these boots. 
I've worn pretty much every single day this past week. I went out every single day this past week when I literally, I think I had one, I drank every day too. And by drank, like I had I had either whiskey or a glass of wine almost every night. It was a crazy week. Um, Yeah. So I wore these out every single day of the week this week and they're amazing and they are just literally the most perfect booty and the cool thing about them is is they give me height but they're not too tall sometimes when i'm really in my platform heels you never some you don't know what you're doing especially for me this past week i had no idea some of the things i was getting myself into so i want to be able to still walk around you know so these give me like i don't really feel like i'm in a heel when i wear these but they're giving me height oh my gosh my voice okay guys i'm gonna have everything linked down below make sure to check it out and let's get back into the video so all flights were canceled into michigan today because there's a giant ice storm hitting literally everywhere i think actually so i kind of had everything prepared and packed for one of the fir like first times in my whole life i've been up since 4 a.m i went to Dunkin' Donuts, I went to Walgreens, I cried, I started my period, I did two hours of work, started editing a vlog, started filming another video, got ready, and here I am, and it's 2 p.m., not even yet, and I'm wide awake and energetic. I was really looking forward to getting home, but there's a reason for everything, so I'm gonna try again tomorrow morning. So yeah. I wanted to go for a hike and then go to the sauna and then shower and then go to bed. And let's see where the day 